my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the great outdoors. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Lynch of McGuanago, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Suzuki, Wings Over Wisconsin, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Kamik Law Firm, Kamalon Measuring Tools, Vexlar, Deep Freeze, Cold Snap, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. Hey, good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Today we're up here in North Dakota, up around Rugby, and we're actually up here with the kids and we're gonna be doing some duck hunting and maybe a possibility of going out to Devil's Lake and fishing with our good friend Dave Tice from McQuaid Outfitters. So stay tuned, let's see what happens this week in North Dakota. Oh, nice shot. Go get him, Maddie. Good girl, Maddie. Good girl, Maddie. Bring him here. Good girl. That's a moaner. So this is the first bird we've got so far. It's really foggy outside, and you really can't see much. So when they come over, you really got to be quick. So hood and McGanzer. Twelve foot lead. Take him, take him. There's one, there's one. Nice shot, who got that? Get him, Manny! Austin, get that bird! You wanted the snow goose mounted, there he is. You can kind of see how the the birds have changed their flight line here. They're running up along this other lake right here, so we're gonna make a little bit of a shift right now. Move over a little bit. Let them come over. Take them. Watch where that bird goes, watch where that bird goes. Watch where that bird goes. Watch where that bird goes. Watch where it goes. From our good friends over at Carson's, they build a whole line of duck skiffs along with a lot of other fiberglass products. They really know their stuff, I'll tell you that. That's an awesome skiff. Ready? Which one's again mounted? Both of them. The Badger Sportsman Magazine and Larry Smith Outdoors are teaming up once again to bring you more great outdoor prizes. This time, we're giving away a Frable Ice suit, three Beaver Dam tip-ups, and a Jiffy Propane Auger, a package valued at $1,400. With your entry to win this awesome ice fishing combo, you will also receive a complimentary issue of the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier publication on everything outdoors. To enter your chance to win, Visit badgersportsman.com today. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. 
the smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, Warrior Boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you drill less holes because fish come to you. Jig it, rip it, or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout. And experience multi-species action with just one bait. Wings Over Wisconsin a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. I'll tell you what, I'm sure glad I'm not drinking that other soda anymore because I need to lose some of this weight and this is a good way to do it out here. Whew, I love it. Oh, nice job, nice shot. What kind of boat is this, Larry? That is a pintail by Karsten. And I'll tell you what, it's an awesome boat. Yeah. Where are they built? Huh? Where are they built? Melrose, Minnesota. Melrose, Minnesota. That Very same place our warriors are built. Very stable. Very yeah, stable. I can't believe that. I tried rocking it on you on the way out here. It you're didn't in. Really rock. No, even with Maddie in there, you're not flipping that boat. No. Nice and wide, can walk around in it. <laughs> Plenty of room, too. Yeah, that's a nice boat. That's uh, almost 14 foot, this one right here. You want to know the best part? Yeah. You can kill ducks out of it. Yeah, let me see that. Looks like, I thought you were supposed to be filming. Welcome back to Larry Smith Outdoors. We decided to take a little break from duck hunting and spend a little time with our good friend Dave Tice. Hey Dave, Hi. it's always good to see you. I'll tell you what, I got my daughter Lucy Marie with us and you got your dad Senior with us. Yep. And we're gonna do a little walleye fishing out on Devil's Lake. And I'll tell you, this has always been a special place in my heart here. I got actually a lot of history here on this lake and with some people around here. And I enjoy this area, Dave, like no other. And I'll tell you what, I really appreciate you asking us to come out here and do a little fishing with you this afternoon. Uh, this is definitely going to be a highlight of our trip for sure. Yeah, my pleasure. It's, uh, it's been a pretty good trolling bite out here these last couple weeks and you said you're coming out to shoot some ducks and I asked if you wanted to maybe go catch a few fish. Uh, yesterday was, was an awesome day so hopefully today is the same. Well I tell you, it doesn't matter how many fish we catch or don't catch today Dave, it's always an awesome day to be able to have the chance to spend the time with you and to be able to meet your dad in some time out on Devil's Lake out here. All right, hey, what are we going to be doing out here? You want to start off doing a little trolling? We're going to troll some flicker shads, okay. uh, probably some reef runners. Uh, you know, we caught fish on seven different baits yesterday. Holy cow. So we're going we're gonna to mix it up. It's sunny today. Yesterday was cloudy. Yep. So there might be a couple of different ones that, that they, they, they trigger on. But we're going we're gonna to give it a... Give it a good go. Oh, that sounds awesome. Hey, stay tuned. Let's see what happens this afternoon out here on Devil's Lake. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McGuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. 
You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. From the equipment we use to the clothing we wear, the developments of modern ice fishing technology only serves to make the time we spend on the ice with our friends and family more enjoyable. And there's one product that has stood the test of time for over 30 years, and that's Vexilog, the most trusted name in sonar. Three generations of ice anglers have been using Vexlar technology, and Vexlar continues to earn the respect of anglers all across the ice belt. Time to create your own memories. Visit Vexlar.com. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the U.S. of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jig or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. That didn't take long. Holy cats, Dave. <laughs> wow. That's about a whole seven minutes, I think. Wow. That was fast. Right. That was amazing. You just crank it kind of slow and steady. Yep. We don't want them to come in too fast, because a lot of times if they get to the surface and they shake their face, they can throw that bait. So we'll just, oh, here's a northern. Oh. What do you call them? Slew sharks. Yep, slew sharks. Nice little pike right there. That's a fat little pike. Yeah, I like that. Look at all the shrimp coming out of them. His mouth. Look at that. Look at the sea Then we're all the shrimp gorging them so on shrimp. Hey, Dave, you mind if we keep a couple of these pike? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. They're absolutely delicious. Yeah. I love them. But look at all the shrimp coming out of their out of his mouth. He, look at him. They're still coming out of this thing. Wow. wow. Well, I got a flay knife that likes pike. So. You're right. Boy, and I'll tell you something. I've been cleaning pike all my life. Last winter, I now think I might know how to clean pike a little bit better, thanks to Dave, I'll tell you that. You showed me that technique that you use. I was using that five-step technique, never again. Yep, it's pike, he's head thrashing. You were right too, senior. Yep, I should have known better. Not that I was doubting you at all. There we go. <laughs> Another Devil's Lake pike. I love them Devil's Lake pike. <laughs> I tell you, I'd I, rather eat these buggers than eat them walleye. You ain't kidding. Days. Man, they're Boy, so good. They got a sweet taste to them. People kind of look at, look at us, Dave, when we say we'd rather eat pike than walleye like we're crazy. Dave, you got a nice fish on there. I do, it really Are, feels like a nice one. You thinking walleye or northern? I'm, I'm thinking walleye because yeah. it's not doing anything but just pulling in. But Pure you know. weight. Yeah, it's got that rod just bowled right over. Yeah. Those pike have uh, faked me out a time or two before. <laughs> but this, uh, you know, there's been several tournaments won right on this ridge here. And uh, a couple years ago, I couldn't believe how many 29 it's a 32 inch walleyes came out of here. I have never seen a 32 and a half inch walleye out of this lake, but. I know I fished an FLW tournament out here and the first day I was, you know, in the top five and and uh, then we had a blow day, too much wind the next day. And then the last day I went back to a casting bite that I had and boy, I tell you the couple guys that came out here on, and this is going back many moons, came out here on this ridge and I went right by them and they just, they, they just whaled them out here, big fish. Boy, that fish has really got that thing down there. That is a nice fish, Dave. Very nice fish. There you go. Now if you bring them up, I can get them. Oh, it's still a little bit too much, Dave. Okay, right there I can get them. Bring them straight up. Bring them straight up. Got them. Look at, 
Look at the crankbait, Dave. Look at the crankbait. As soon as, as soon as I bumped that fish, the crankbait came right out of his mouth. Yeah. Boy, and you had just put that on there too. I think you need to hold this one up. There we go. Holy man. I didn't want to tell you this, but that crankbait was, I could see it was just barely in his uh, lip like that. So that's, I didn't want to say anything. Well, I knew it was a good one. I, I loosened the drag and I actually pulled the line out and fed it about 20 feet because I'm like, oh. Right. And that's, you know, that's really the key when you get them big fish on when you're trolling like this is that, you know what, them fish, you never know how they got that crankbait in their mouth. and. And if you put too much tension on that fish, it's going to be gone. That's a very nice fish. That's a nice fish. We should let's, probably measure it, huh? Yeah, let's measure and get her back in the water. But that's a nice fish. Well, that's what we're hoping for to get a few. Yeah, that's a nice fish. And you had just put that bait on there. I mean, it wasn't even back there probably three minutes. Yeah. yeah nice. Yesterday we had three nice ones like this. It was, uh, but yeah, maybe that new crankbait I just put on will pull a couple of fish. That's awesome. Give her a measurement. 25 and three quarters. That's a nice fish. I think we got one going on this yep, one there you here go. too. Get that one. Come in. There you go. Nice job. Swim for another day. Nice job, Dave. Lewis, what do you got? Boy, I tell you, it feels like a good fish, huh? Oh, there he is. Yep. Oh, that's a nice walleye. Try not to pump him. Just nice straight, straight, straight wine. Nice, keep going. You almost got him. Yep, nice fish. Oh, nice fish. Nice job. All right. Woo! Yeah. All right. Nice job, Lewis. Nice job. Now you got to hold this one up once you get the crankbait out of his mouth. Out of here. You know, that's Brad the camera guy, just so you know. He's always hoarding all the candy. Right? Must think we're getting fat or something. I think that's <laughs> kind of rude of him thinking that. Hey, in the kitchen with Shotgun Steve Schaefer, I have Northern Pike. I'm going to poach it, season it, lemon zest it, butter, a little bacon over the top when you're done, cut up in small little chunks for hors d'oeuvres, put on the table, little crackers. People love this recipe. It's easy to do. It takes uh, four or five minutes. That's all you're just poaching. Back behind me, I have water boiling with onion and garlic in it already. I'm going to cut the pike up a little bit. A little white that, I don't know what people say, but to me, Northern Pike is darn good. Boils, boiling water is going. I got lemons in there, garlic in there. Pike is going down. And if you don't know, folks, when you throw it in there, see how the water is stopping boiling? The temperature is dropping. So just take your time putting your fish in. And your pike is going to turn as white as that onion when it's done. That's what you want to see. Look at how beautiful white that is. I strained out the water and the onions, that's what's left. Seasoning, I put a little more in there. I'm gonna top it with some bacon. Now we're gonna take and put a little lemon zest in there. People just go down a little bit, just so you... Lemon is really strong. Give it a little squeeze. If you don't like lemon, you don't have to do it. Now, finishing touch, a little sauteed butter, heat it up. This is not good for your health, trust me folks, this little bit there. I suppose I should use a fork so I don't get hollered at. Here's the finishing product. Lemon zest, northern poached, in the kitchen with shotgun. You can put this on any table, folks, and they will never know this is northern. This is really good. If there's ever anything left over, make a sandwich out of it. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. 
Fishing and Hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. fishing just around the corner it's time to gear up check out the new pro skimmer by deep freeze offered in six inch eight inch and ten inch models the fastest ice skimmer on the market and once you're ready for those tip-ups don't forget about blue tips the first tip-up alert system sent straight to your smartphone free app available on android and ios check out these and other products at deepfreezefishing.com or any of your favorite retailers thinking about this one senior I think it's a walleye it feels pretty decent lately that's what we've been seeing we're kind of we haven't gotten a pike in a while all walleyes that's not such a bad thing right yeah. even though I love them pike I noticed it's not as bright this last hour as it was earlier maybe yeah. that's gonna make a little difference you know and yesterday you guys really hammered them fish and it was cloudy Cloudy. Right, so maybe that's the deal. A little bit darker. Yep, feels pretty good. Give me a little bite here. I'd like to see that. Holy Oh, you got a nice head thrust. There's to some it. thumping going on on that rod. Yep. Now you're using all fire line, right? Yeah. Can you walk towards the front of the boat, Dad? I'm going to get out of his way. Oh, yep. it's a pike. It is a pike. It is a pike? Yep. Pike are good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like that one big wall, I pulled the crankbait out as soon as it goes. Wow, isn't that something? As soon as you touch touch them fish, boy, that's why it's so important. As soon as they come up to, to let that net go, swing that net. We've got a really, really strong ear class of these pike going on. This class and the one, one step up a little bit bigger, there's just thousands and thousands of them. I can't believe, Dave, I fished with you guys last winter. I cannot believe the amount of pike that we caught. You know, we caught our walleyes early in the morning and Dave said, hey, let's go pike fishing or perch fishing. And I said, you know what? We're gonna be here for a couple days. Let's go pike fishing. And we caught so many northerns. It was, I mean, what a ball. We were catching them on jig rods, catching them on tip ups on the beaver dams. And yeah, you guys, this is probably one of the best pike fisheries I've ever seen. You know, this Devil's Lake, is unbelievable as far as the quality of fishing out here. Like I said, personally, I mean, I could be totally wrong. I say this all the time. I think this is one of the best walleye, inland lakes walleye fishery in the whole country. This is, it's unbelievable the way this I, system I is. Think, I think it is too. I know, I say it all the time. Some people look at me kind of goofy, but I've been out here, you know, I've got a lot of history with other people fishing out here. and. It's just, it's just I've, I've been so impressed by this fishery and actually not too long ago, you know, I shouldn't say that 10 years ago, we were gonna actually sell our farm and move out here and just, uh, you know, run our stuff out of here. And boy, I'll tell you, maybe when I retire, I'm gonna have a house out here and then a house back in Wisconsin. Wow, what are you thinking, senior? Ah. Uh, boy, it's straight down. Feels Bring that like a nice right wall. Oh, big fish, right here. Big fish. Nice oh, fish. Oh, oh, oh. But oh, we got all sorts of lines caught in there. Okay, just bring them up and I'll get them. I got them. I got them. Nice job. Oh, Woo. Nice. nice 
fish. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> okay, we got a little bit of a mess here, probably because of my fault. But let's get that. We got a couple other lines on here. I think, Dave, if we can just get them unhooked and I can get these other lines released. He just swung over a little bit. Look at look at the girth on these fish. Well, that's what always amazes me. I mean, all summer long, it's a numbers game. When you get into the fall time, and you kind of lose the numbers, but you start catching the quality of fish like this, and the girth on these fish in this body of water compared to any other body of water I've fished is just absolutely amazing. It is. If you've never experienced walleye fishing at the very finest, this is definitely the body of water that you yeah. want to come out and try. I mean, this this isn't a Lake Erie by any means because this is the average fish or maybe a little small on Lake Erie. But the numbers game here all summer long is phenomenal and you get certain peak periods and times of the year where you catch some monsters and just the girth on these fish with whatever they're eating. And I, I know right now they're eating small walleyes and, and white bass. But they're just they're just chunks, and I, that's why I moved here from the Twin Cities in Minnesota because I just fell in love with this lake 15 years ago. It's just amazing. Your, your arms are getting sore. When I was your age, and my dad said, "Here's a fish. You want to take it?" It would be like I had had the rod before he got the whole sentence out of his mouth. Right? Come on, let's see some muscle. Basketball player, duck slayer, deer slayer. Come on. Holy crap, Lucy! What are you talking about? Wow, great nice fish. I don't I don't know, Dan. I'm tired of catching fish. My hands I'm are tired getting of tired. Catching fish. I'm tired of <laughs> Yeah, I'm tired of pulling in these fish. Hey, we got one to put in the box for eating. Right. This time. There you go. Whoa. 21. 21 incher. That's a the nice fish. Isn't that something? Holy cats. Lewis, you gonna there, she is a look at her. Hey, your little boyfriend, uh, what's his name? Carter? Chase? No! Michael? Henry? <laughs> right? Right, what, what's he gonna say about that? That you don't even want to let this one go there either. Well, if you want to keep that one, I mean, I, I think it's a male. Yeah, I think it's a male. I think we should eat it. So, yeah, yeah I'll put it in the box. Hey, I'll tell you, Dave, we had an absolutely awesome time out there on the lake. You know, for a couple hours, we kept a bunch of pike, kept one nice walleye, threw the other big ones back. It was a lot of fun, and I thank you, and I think it was nice meeting your dad, and uh, I can understand why you're such a good guy. You come from good blood there, for yeah. sure. Yep. Yeah, yeah I, no, I, I've been best friends with my dad my whole life. He'll, he'll say the same. We got That's a, awesome. We got a very unique relationship. It's a good one and always have been. And I appreciate the time I get to spend with him. That's what life's all about, family and friends, right? Yep. Hey, we had a great time out on Devil's Lake. I appreciate everybody watching our show like always. And just remember, like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. That, that you can take us out. Let's see that over. Doing some duck hunting. God, we could jump along and let's go. <laughs>